Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn and in this training video, I will teach you how to pass a data analyst interview. If you are applying to become a data analyst with any company, business or organization, please make sure you stay tuned because the tips, questions and brilliant sample answers I am about to give you will definitely help you beat the competition at your interview. And to achieve that goal, I will cover the following things in this training video, number one. So I will tell you which data analyst interview questions you must prepare for. These questions come up all the time. I will help you to answer them with confidence. Number two, I will give you two tips for giving a top scoring response to each data analyst interview question plus sample answers. Number three, I will tell you the 12 best words you should use in your data analyst interview. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can instantly download these slides plus my full set of 25 top scoring answers to data analyst interview questions. And just very quickly, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thousands of you, and I mean thousands of you, are getting hired at the first attempt. It makes it far easier for me to help you when you are subscribed. And please hit the like button because that motivates me to create more great content for you. Thank you very much indeed. The first question you will have to answer at your data analyst interview is going to be, tell me about yourself. Let me give you two important tips for giving the perfect answer. Tip number one. So this is going to be the first question you will have to answer. Now, to work as a data analyst, you must be a good communicator. So make sure you practice your response several times before your interview. Tip number two. In your answer, talk about your experience, qualifications and certifications, details of achievements you have attained in your career, and also how you will make a difference in your work as a data analyst for their company. So let me now give you my top scoring unique answer to this first data analyst interview question. Write this down, practice it. Tell me about yourself. Here we go. Thank you for this opportunity to interview for the data analyst position at, insert the company's name. I am a competent, detail-oriented and analytical professional who is passionate about turning data into actionable insights. I hold the relevant qualifications in data analytics and have hands-on experience with data collection, cleaning and visualization, as well as statistical analysis, reporting and dashboard development. In my previous role, I was renowned for my strong analytical thinking, collaborative approach and ability to explain complex data trends to non-technical stakeholders. In every role I hold, I am committed to making positive organisational change. For example, in my last role, I led an analysis of supplier performance data that revealed delivery delays from a key vendor, prompting procurement to renegotiate terms and improve supply chain reliability. If you hire me, I will ensure that my analysis supports data-driven decision-making that delivers positive commercial results. And I look forward to discussing more about how I can contribute to your strategic goals during this interview. That is a brilliant example answer to that first data analyst interview question. Tell me about yourself. Here is the next question I strongly recommend you prepare for. Why do you want to be a data analyst? Tip number one. Now it takes, as you know, a unique set of skills and qualities to be a competent and effective data analyst. And this next common question is assessing your motivations for choosing this career. Tip two, good things to include in your answer are how the role utilizes your strengths and best skills, and also the opportunity you have as a data analyst 
to have a positive impact on an organization through your work. And this gives you lots of job satisfaction. Here is another top scoring example answer to help you. Why do you want to be a data analyst? Here we go. I want to be a data analyst for three reasons. First, it is a role that utilizes my best skills, analysis, critical thinking, problem solving, and SQL. Second, it is a role that empowers me to have a positive impact on an organization, and that brings me a great deal of job satisfaction. Finally, I want to be a data analyst because it is a role that is constantly evolving. With the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning, my skills and knowledge will be continually tested, which is a part of the role I enjoy. So that's a great answer because you are giving three reasons, genuine reasons why you want to be a data analyst. It shows passion for your work and that will definitely benefit the employer. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have many more questions, tips and answers to give you. But when you are ready, you can download these slides and my full set of 25 data analyst interview questions and answers by clicking that link in the top right hand corner of the video. But here is the next question I want you to prepare for, and that is what are the essential skills and qualities needed to be a data analyst? Tip number one. Now, if you cannot answer this next common question accurately, you will definitely fail the interview because the question is assessing your understanding and knowledge of the job description. Make sure you read it before your interview. Tip two. Now, in your answer, I recommend you list the top five skills needed to be an effective data analyst and then give an example of when you have used one of those skills to have an impact in your work. So here is the perfect example answer. What are the essential skills and qualities needed to be a data analyst? To be a successful data analyst, you need five essential skills and qualities. Analytical thinking, attention to detail, strong communication, technical proficiency and business acumen. Analytical thinking allows you to interpret complex data and extract meaningful conclusions. Attention to detail ensures accuracy, which is crucial when making decisions based on data. Strong communication helps you to present findings clearly to stakeholders, especially those without technical knowledge. Technical proficiency in tools such as SQL, Excel, Python or Power BI is a must. And business acumen helps align your analysis with the company's commercial and financial goals. For example, in my previous role, I was asked to investigate why customer retention rates had dropped. I used SQL to pull three months of transaction data and Power BI to visualize trends. I noticed a spike in product returns and after further analysis, linked it to a recent change in suppliers. I presented my findings to management who sourced alternative suppliers and within six weeks, retention improved by 18%. So that is a really good example answer because you are not only listing the essential skills and qualities, but you are giving an example of when you demonstrated one of them in a previous role. Here is the next question. What made you choose our company for a data analyst role? Or why do you want to work for us? Tip number one. Now, most data analysts are not too concerned about which company they work for. They are more interested in salary and benefits. And the hiring manager wants to avoid these people at all costs because they will likely move on to another company once they receive a higher offer. So you are going to be different when you answer this question. Tip two, in your answer, demonstrate a genuine passion for wanting to work for their company and also reference any research you have conducted before the interview. So here is another brilliant answer to help you. What made you choose our company for a data analyst role? As a data analyst, I believe it's essential to work in an environment 
that is both supportive and forward-thinking, qualities I found consistently highlighted in my research about your company. What stood out to me was your strong industry reputation, consistent track record of success, and your ambitious plans for the future. I want to contribute to a company where my work can have a real impact, not just in terms of day-to-day -day analysis, but in helping shape strategic decisions that drive growth. Your vision and culture seem like a perfect fit for my career goals, and I'd be excited to be a part of your journey. Great answer shows that you are genuine about wanting to work for their organisation for the long term, and that will definitely grab the attention of the hiring manager. What is your biggest weakness? Be very, very careful how you respond to this question. Do not respond by saying that you don't have any weaknesses or that your weakness is that you are a perfectionist. This question assesses self-awareness, the ability to accept feedback, and also your desire for self-improvement. Now, good weaknesses for a data analyst interview include being impatient and finding it difficult to delegate because you prefer to do things yourself. Here is my example top scoring answer. What is your biggest weakness? I wouldn't say I have any major weaknesses, but one area I've been consciously working to improve on is my approach to collaboration. Earlier in my career, I tended to focus on working independently, head down, fully immersed, because I thought that was the best way to ensure accuracy and that I met project requirements. However, over time and through constructive feedback from managers, I've come to appreciate the value of leveraging the strengths and insights of colleagues across different departments. Collaboration, more often than not, leads to better solutions and helps projects move forward more effectively. I'm now much more proactive about engaging with others, and I've found that it not only improves outcomes, but also makes the process more rewarding. So that is a really good, smart answer. It shows that you used to have a weakness, but you have been working hard to improve on it, and you understand how effective close collaboration can be. Now, in the next section of this video, I'm going to give you the top words I recommend you use in your data analyst interview. But before I do that, if you want to download the answers I have given, plus my full set of 25 great responses to data analyst interview questions, click that link in the top right-hand corner of the video and head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com. Here's those 12 best words to use in a data analyst interview. First one is insights. So why this word impresses? Well, it shows that you go beyond numbers and you provide meaningful recommendations that influence decisions. So you could say this, I transformed sales data into actionable insights that improved forecasting accuracy by 18%. Wherever in your answers you can use percentage increases or decreases depending on your goal, I recommend you do so because it adds impact to the answer. Correlations is another good word to use. Why it is impresses? Well, it demonstrates analytical thinking and understanding of statistical concepts. So you could say, I identified strong correlations between quality products and customer retention. The third best word to use is visualize. Why it impresses? It highlights your ability to communicate complex data clearly to non-technical stakeholders. You could say, I built interactive dashboards to visualize key performance indicators and trends using Power BI. Next word, automated, great one to use. It impressive, sorry, it's impressive because it shows efficiency, technical skill, and a mindset of continuous improvement. You could say this, I automated monthly reports using Python, saving over 10 hours per month. Great answer. You could also use the word anomalies. Why this impresses in a data analyst interview. It proves attention to detail and expertise in data quality and also potentially fraud detection. So you could say, I detected anomalies in transaction data that led to identifying a system bug. Scalability, why it impresses. It shows you think long term 
and you design solutions that grow with the business. You could say, I built a scalable ETL pipeline to process real-time customer feedback. The next best word to use in a data analyst interview is stakeholders. So why this impresses, it demonstrates communication and collaboration skills with cross-functional teams, i.e. stakeholders. You could say, I presented findings to stakeholders across product, finance and marketing. Next best word, integrity. So why this impresses, well it highlights ethics, responsibility and quality control. You could say, I ensure data integrity by implementing validation rules and audits. The next word, segmentation. Why does this impress? It shows strategic thinking and your ability to tailor insights. I performed customer segmentation that drove targeted marketing strategies. Next word, optimized. Why does this impress? It proves that you don't just analyze, you refine and enhance results. You can say, I optimized SQL queries, reducing report generation time by 70%. You can see how effective it is when you use percentages in your answers. Forecasting, why does this impress? Well, it shows advanced analytical capability and value to business planning. I developed a forecasting model that accurately predicted seasonal demand. Collaborated, a great word. This impresses because it reinforces you are a team player, not just a technical resource. I collaborated with engineers and analysts to build a cross-functional reporting suite. So there you have it. 12 great words to use in your data analyst interview. Don't forget to click the link to download the answers. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It is always an honor and a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you for watching and I wish you the very best for passing your data analyst interview. Have a wonderful day.